T-A-G. 49s. Hey everybody! All right, I'm trying to kind of rush because you know I'm kind of a little late for work, but um, uh, well not late, I'm just running late mentally. But um, uh, you know, like uh, last week, you know, and the week before, we've been talking about you know addiction issues, and uh, you know, the power of addiction is you know it's more than just drugs. Like you could be addicted to video games, sugar, um, caffeine, um. Uh, certain emotions that certain people give you, certain um, things you see, like uh, things with social media, you know, the addictions with social media, you, you need to see and know everything that's going on. Um, you know, it's, it's really crazy how so many things um, affect, your, affect you mentally. And, and that's the power of addiction. Um, learning self-control and self-discipline, you know, those are really needed. Um, because without discipline, you literally will just keep doing the same things over and over and never go anywhere. Um, uh, and, um, you know, when I say it's, you know, it's crazy because, like, some days I'll be just so into social media and it's not even like I don't even care what's going on I just sometimes I like seeing the memes or the you know, motivational quotes because it makes me feel better um, it reminds me of why I'm doing everything I'm doing um, you know and it's you know drugs are even harder but it's uh, the moment that you get a hold of your self-discipline and the moment you get a hold of everything in your life and you start being in control so many things come so much easier. Um, you know, for me, with doing the intermittent fasting and everything, it really kind of helped me work on my self-discipline so that later, you know, when it came to other things, it was easier to control. Um, and, you know, it's one of those things that um, as I continue to work on me, those, you know, things ha help. Um, you know, addiction is really hard to overcome because there's so many factors. Like, there's physical addictions, there's mental addictions, and there's reasons for those addictions. Um, you know, if you've had a poor childhood, meaning money-wise, um, you're going to be addicted to money because you didn't have it, so you don't necessarily know what to do with it. Whereas somebody that's had money their whole life, they just, you know, they might necessarily not be addicted to money. They're just maybe addicted to spending and having, over, you know, overspending habits. But they're not addicted to money because they've had it. They've had those freedoms. When you don't have those freedoms, you don't have the money, you start to get addicted to making it. That's why you have so many poverty people with so much hustle because they don't want to still be where they were. They don't. They want to continue to grow and to be out of that. Um, and you know, for me, I kind of had a mixed childhood because I, I, I wasn't in the struggle, but I was in the struggle. Meaning, um, my dad had money for me living with him. Um, all the bills were paid. He blew that extra money on whatever he wanted. Um, you know, it was, if it was ever something I wanted, I was always told to go ask my grandparents. And um, it was never one of those things that, um, you know, so I didn't have all the freedoms maybe other people had. You know, I had to wear hand-me-downs, cheap shoes, and, you know, and, you know, that's what led me to being picked on by the rich kids. Because, you know, I had a bunch of rich kids in my school and, you know, it, it just happens. Um, 
So, you know, some of my addictions, you know, for me is female attention because my mom was in prison. Um, you know, so, it, you know, when it came to drugs, I didn't have a reason for drugs, so I, it didn't pull me to the same instance that other people get pulled by. You know, when you're trying to escape reality and you don't love your reality, you know, it's really easy to get sucked in and, you know, the next thing you know, you're physically, um, you know, you're physically, you know, in need of this substance. You have to, you have to break your mental first, meaning you have to go, you know what, I'm done doing this. I don't want to do this no more. I don't care how sick I am. Uh, if I've got to have sweats for a week and I've got to feel sick for a week, so be it. I want control of my life. And that's the power of an addiction. You know, so like when you have the power of addictions on you, you have to take back your power. You have to take back control. You have to make sure that you don't continue that path anymore. It all leads down to you. You started it. You can finish it. Meaning, at the end of the day, you know, some people need therapy. Some people need help. Some people have outlets, you know. Drugs aren't the way to go. Uh, sugar is not the way to go. Um, you know, depressive eating. Um, you can take control of that too. Um, anybody that's trying to lose weight, you know, I have, uh, you know, my one weight loss video. Um, I'm actually going to be making another one. Kind of like an updated version of, and maybe kind of like a little advance. Um, because, you know, I have heard other ideas. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you need to take your power back. Um, it doesn't matter what you're addicted to. It doesn't matter what has control of you. You mentally have the power to say no. You mentally have the power to say I'm done. You mentally have the power to say I'm not doing this again. You know, it's one of those things that at the end of the day, if something's bad for you, you can stop it. But... You know, it's crazy because some things that you might think are bad, you know, um, like skipping breakfast or uh, whatnot, or not wanting to hurt somebody's feelings, or not wanting to hurt your child's feelings. You know, at the end of the day, sometimes you have to just look at you and go, what do I want? What do I need? You know, if you need something, you need to go for it. If you need to stop doing something, you need to stop doing it. But at the end of the day, it takes you. Um, you have to take your power. You have to gain your self-discipline. You have to work on you. Uh, mental health is all about you. It's not about other people. It's all about you. So you need to take your power. And you need to regain it. And you need to fight off your addictions. Because at the end of the day, once you fight off everything that's negative in your life, things become positive for you. And that's beautiful. Because at the end of the day, we're all beautiful. Uh, I love everybody. I gotta go to work. <laughs> but um, I hope everybody has an awesome day. I love you.